What's good YouTube, Jermaine here, welcome back to another video. This is another Documenting the Journey episode, um, which is basically me speaking one-to-one -one with you guys and just explaining what's going on in my life right now, what's going on with the agencies that we're currently running, any updates in the market, I'm just gonna literally unravel my mind and kind of brainstorm ideas to you guys as I've done on the previous episodes. So um, without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, first things first, as you can see, I'm back in my office. I'm now back in London after being away in Bali and Thailand for the past month, basically. I've been traveling for the past month. Now, I wanna say one thing to you guys. First things first, traveling and running businesses is extremely, extremely hard. Anyone that tells you traveling, seeing the world, scaling businesses, easy life, getting paid whilst traveling is easy. It is not, right? Especially with the time zones across that side of the world in Asia, managing two different agencies with Invogue, I think I have about I have about seven staff right now. So seven contractors and staff, four of those are full time that I'm currently working with. So managing, managing, so imagine, I had to manage seven people, okay, on just on that agency alone whilst traveling between airports, shuttles, boat trips, island trips, all that kind of shit, right? Still have to manage and sit on my phone and talk to communications because you can imagine over there, time zone wise, when I'm, you know, during the midday over there, it's like early morning, which means they're all starting work, right? So I still have to manage that side of things. And that's just with Invoke alone, plus the clients, right? I still have seven clients with Invoke. So we still have seven paying clients, seven retainers that we're getting paid by. So I still had to do a little bit of client communication, client management. The great thing is I do have a CMO who does handle 95% of that. And to be fair to him, he's really stepped up when I did travel because he noticed I wasn't as uh, communicative with replies. Um, so he massively helped me out with that, right? But you can imagine that communication between clients and team members just for their agency alone were crazy. Now, that's not even touching only Astra. Now, with only Astra, we currently have uh, six team members in place, okay? So six team members across you know, chatters, across um, social media managers, across general manager, um, and that alone does require even more communication than uh, Invo because it's still very new. It's still a very new business, right? We've only been going for about ten to eleven months right now. It's Invo two, three years, and a lot of us, a lot of the systems are solidified and it's all in place, right? Plus, models, right? So we now have six models on board of the agency, um, and we did replace quite a few. So it's going to lead me up to my next point, um, in a further later on in the video. But we did have um, we have six models right now. So communication with models. It's still very much me. Okay, so I do have a general manager that helps with communication, with customs, all that kind of thing. But I still like to be heavily involved in, with communication with models right now. So doing all that whilst traveling, seeing different islands, obviously drinking in the nighttime, waking up during the day, um, it was very, very difficult. So anyone that tells you traveling and scaling businesses is easy is lying through the teeth. Trying to sell you a dream, which just isn't the reality. I'd much rather not rather, but it is much better to scale a business right here in my office with my gym two minutes down the road, my routine in place, with my screens and everything that I need and just scaling, right? I couldn't scale a business whilst I was traveling. I just really just maintained our revenue whilst I was traveling, just making sure um, all the models were all happy, making sure all the service delivery was being delivered with traffic and um, just making sure that everything was just kind of being maintained. Now that I'm back in the seat, back in the captain seat, as one would say. Um, I'm now back to a scaling phase, scaling models, testing different angles, testing different strategies, and um, potentially bringing on one or two more models, um, depending on how these guys go. I am thinking of dropping one or two models also. I did drop two models whilst we were in, whilst I was traveling. Um, one was a mutual agreement that just, she just wasn't in the right mind frame right now which is probably what you get told all the time in this space, despite how much you scale it, but is what it is. Um, the other model just wasn't producing enough content and it just wasn't a priority for us, so we just let her go at the end of the day. So um, we do have space to uh, bring on a few models. And I, re I already replaced those two models, by the way, right? Um, due to the personal brand, due to our results, due to the reputation that myself and only Astra slowly, slowly building in this OFM world, um, we I get probably five to 10 models hit me up every single week, like good quality models. Like the latest model that we signed was already top 3%, okay? So already top 3%, we're just gonna take it to the top 0.000% over the next few weeks. So that's the beautiful, that's a beautiful thing about branding, okay? Branding, showing results, showing case studies. That is the great thing um, and that's what's worked really well. Again, I think we still have a 14 waiting list. 14 models have applied over the last month 
and they're still waiting to join the agency. So if you're a model watching this and you've applied, I will get back to you in due time. I just can't take on more models and we can deliver the perfect service too. Not the perfect, but close to perfect service, right? I'm pretty anal with that kind of thing. So um, yeah, that's basically a quick recap on the agency right now. Obviously we did launch a traffic offer to the market. My Telegram DMs went absolutely crazy. I probably should have offered that now when I just got back from the travels. Because obviously you had a whole bunch of people inquiring about the service. We did sign up to a, two other agencies helping them on the traffic side, service side of things. And it has been going well. But in terms of communication, my communication was pretty, pretty tough seeing, seeing I was traveling quite a bit. Um, but now that I'm back in, we're going to scale the side of the agency as well. So, you know, we're now offering traffic services. Anyone interested, hit me up. We run all your Reddit, Twitter, Instagram bots, Instagram DMs, Twitter bots, sorry. Um, we can run your Tinder services as well. We've cracked Tinder again. Um, I'm going to throw some screenshots. We are now managing Tinder on a desktop at scale. We're currently running 30 to 40 profiles per model all across the US. I'm going to show you some kind of B-roll of us running the Tinder side of things. And I'm going to show you some results like the DMs that my models are getting every single day saying that people are coming across from Tinder. So Tinder is still working. We've kind of cracked it and we're just in a, in a scaling phase. We can't scale past 30 to 40 right now uh, accounts per model because the numbers on a lot of these websites have just ran out, right? So we're just waiting on these websites to give us like numbers to verify the accounts with. Um, but then once we do, we'll then be setting up five to 10 Tinder accounts per day per model. And obviously some are gonna get shadow banned, that's normal. Um, but we have got bots now in place, a team in place that is managing that for us. And we're gonna offer that as a traffic service to the market. For anyone that's gonna ask in DMs, this is not included in the Only Esther Academy. This is something that I'm still heavily, heavily keeping a close eye on, um, and it may be released in due course. But for now, it is not in the only Astro Academy, so please do not ask me, guys, okay? Cool, so uh, what else has been going on? So in regards to Clapper, Clapper has been doing really well for us as well. Great thing about Clapper is you can literally just repost content from TikTok after you've removed the watermark, and you don't have to worry about removing the metadata which makes life so much easier and it still doesn't get shadow banned. It still takes off with views. Our average creator averages around five to 10K views per video. Some videos will go viral and hit 50, 60K, um, but it's, it's producing a great amount of um, views, great amount of organic traffic. And then again, we're in the phase of, I'm looking at potentially buying phones for all of our models and sending it to them so they can go live on TikTok and go live on Clapper. Not every model has multiple phones, and um, so it's another thing that I'm looking at. I've only just landed in the UK, so it's something I need to look at properly, but I probably am going to do it. Agency scale really well, so I'm just going to reinvest the profits into our models, into our serious models, which they all are serious now. We, we dropped the ones that weren't so serious, but yeah, that's another angle of looking at. My goal is to have two TikToks accounts running on live, two Clapper accounts running on live, and then as we start to scale the accounts, the sub accounts, Free, free, four, four. Like I think that will generate an incredible amount of traffic um, for our models. Okay, so that's been working really well for us. Reddit, we've also scaled on Reddit. Reddit's been doing really well for us. Again, just literally, I literally just brought on a team member that knows Reddit inside and out, and I pay him pretty juicy to be fair. And um, he's working for me full time, fifty hours a week, and he's heavily just focusing on Reddit, like bringing Reddit accounts for our models getting their karma built up, building the subreddits, building the verification, and just basically posting as much as you can in multiple subreddits per day. I think we post in like 30 subreddits per day right now, um, and the karma is building life. Reddit is a minefield. I still don't 100% fully understand it. I understand a decent amount, but Reddit is, it's a, it's a whole nother world. But again, I understood it to a decent amount to be able to run it and build karma, which I did for some of my models. And then I delegated it to a team member who basically spent his last five, ten years, five years, who's basically spent his last five years on Reddit. Okay, so he's been doing Reddit for us and we are seeing a good amount of conversions. I've noticed the Reddit conversions from clicks to subs are a lot better than Twitter or Instagram. I feel like the quality of traffic on Reddit is so much better. So that is why I would not sleep on Reddit if I was you guys, okay? Twitter is doing really well with like accounts growing. Conversions aren't as good. Like I will openly say that we only get about two, three, to five. two to three subs per day now on Twitter and it's dropped. So I'm looking at rethinking our strategy with Twitter. Um, I have what's been working well over the last few weeks is DMing models and approaching models and DMing models and asking for like retweet for retweet. Okay, and that's been working really well for us on Twitter. So that's an angle, but like I said, the conversions just don't seem to be as good as Reddit. 
for example, right? Or the tube method, for example, those two platforms are doing really well with clicks to conversions. Okay, and again, I'm gonna throw up some screenshots so you can see the proof that I'm talking about. I'm gonna just chatting down my ass. So yeah, hopefully that makes sense, guys. Um, and what else have been working well for us? Um, what else has been working well for us? Oh, so shout out for shout outs has been working really well for us as well. We use a platform called The Collab Club. I'm gonna release a YouTube video. I don't know if it's gonna launch before this video or it's gonna launch after. It's called The Collab Club, basically. It's a, like a marketplace to do shout out for shout outs with other models in the same percentage as you or as your model. Um, and that works really well with, you know, just shout out for shout outs with similar models. And I recommend, and I do recommend you reach out to models that look similar to yourself as a model or look similar to your creators at your, at your agency. And that just works best for results. You can literally send screenshots. They send you screenshots to show that they've posted the shout out on the OnlyFans itself. And that does generate um, good good amount of clicks and subs. Okay, so as many subs, it's not, it's not really scalable because there's only so many um, shout outs you can do per week. But again, I've hired a specific team member that does um, this and the two method for us. And she just spends her time reaching out to other models and offering shout outs for shout outs on behalf of our models, right? So we average like three to four shout outs per week per model. And um, that's generated a good amount of traffic also. So again, generating multiple different traffic sources. We're not just relying on one traffic source. We've scaled a traffic source, getting a good result, and then we add a new traffic source, right? So I haven't just signed a model and gone bang, Twitter, Reddit, TikTok, Clapper, tube sites, shout out, shout out. I haven't done that, right? I started off with two free, um, two mainly, two traffic sources first, scaled it up to generating five to 10 subs per day, and then I've added in another traffic source, and then another traffic source once they hit that kind of KPI that we're optimizing for. So hopefully that makes sense, guys. Um, and that's basically a kind of recap of the traffic side of things for the agency, what's working well and where we're at with that. In regards to me right now, um, January was the best month I've ever hit in business, which just saying that is just ridiculous to be honest with you. And I traveled, right? If I were at home in my office, in my normal routine in January, we probably would have hit an extra 20, 30% more revenue um, just because I was a lot more uh, receptive to work. Whereas work was like the back burner. All I was doing was creating content. I wasn't actually scaling and, and I wasn't on my laptop that much. So, and that was the best month I've ever had in business across only Astra, across uh, In Vogue as well, right? And that's not just purely from the core sales. The core sales only equal to like 30 to 40% of my OnlyFans money, let's say, right? 60% came from the actual agency. And I've noticed since personal branding, since, like I said at the start, since personal brand, since producing content, valuable content on YouTube, we've had models reach out to us who are already making four to five K per month. So we come in and take over the account, already making 50% of that. And that happened twice in January for us. And then we've just scaled them even further. Again, we've taken a bigger piece of the pie, which is why personal branding is so, so important, guys, because you attract better quality fish and you don't have to outreach. I have an outreach in like four months directly DM outreach because I've just had models come into us through the TikToks and the personal brand that I've been building. So you guys, if you are serious about this industry, build a personal brand. It's just going to make your life so much easier. You're going to make a lot more money and it's going it's to make a lot more money and you're going to scale a lot quicker. So take that piece of advice from me, guys. It will definitely benefit you in the long run. Um, but yeah, to recap, best month we've ever had, <laughs> best month I've ever had in business for the last three years, which is incredible multiple income sources the only um only astra is scaling really really well right now um, in vogue is just more at a maintenance mode i'm going to try and bring it back up um revenue wise to a point that i think is just manageable and then again going all in on only astra personal brand and content agency and just making the experience for the only astra academy members as amazing as possible so i'm again i'm going to film a whole bunch more modules over the next few weeks to improve their experience and they don't have to pay extra and that's just all going to be inclusive for them so Hopefully that all makes sense guys. Again, it's another documents in the journey series, more content on the way. If you enjoy my content, if you enjoy my content, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you do. Peace out guys from London and I'll see you in the next one.